Hi, I'm Andy Allen for Applied Shotokan. Today we're going to look at Nijushiho, just the opening three movements. So we're going to look at the so-called pressing block, one, and then the, uh, the, the punch where we, from the back stance, we shift forward, and then the, the tall posture where we have uh, one, one elbow forward like this. So we're going to use a, um, an entry that's not in the kata per se, but, and we're going to use this in two different ways. We're going to use it as a preemptive strike to the back of the neck, and a way to pull down and secure the head as I throw a bicep bump and then a guillotine choke to finish. All right, so Steven is uh, the enemy here, and we're, we're, we're starting really close. You're not gonna get this kind of thing out here. So let's paint a little scenario here. Uh, I, I, I can't physically get away. My verbal de-escalation attempt has, has failed, and he's in, intent on hurting me. His hands are up, okay? And my hands should be up like this. The, the palms forward indicate that I don't want trouble, but yet I'm still ready in case there is one. So if you consider a, a preemptive strike the way to go, I'm going to do a, a, a two touch to pass through. I want to get inside his elbow, it's really close here, and I'm going to use this as a strike to the back of the neck. So we want to make sure we're below the skull, right here is the, the, the brain stem, controls all your vital functions, and a, a quick sharp blow there is, is, uh, is quite dangerous, so be careful practicing, but it can incapacitate someone pretty quickly. Right, so slowly first, we're going to come one, to leave his hand here, chuck to the back of the head. Leave his hand, he, hand here so I don't get his head in mine. So this is also going to, as his pain withdrawal reflex causes his head to come forward, I'm gonna accept the head here, okay? I'm gonna use this, this motion again. So the arms come up like this, and we come back in this pressing block. So after we get the, the pass, boom, boom, I'm gonna get the head, pull it down, and temporarily, just to, for a split second, I'm going to use this to secure. So that the backward motion of the, 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 in the back stance is help me pull using my mask. From here, right away, I keep this hand here, and we're going to do this motion. So in, in the kata, we have the hand stays on top of the punching arm. So here's the, the, the arm that's securing the head in place. Instead of punching here, I'm actually going to hit with my bicep. This is a bicep bump back to the head. Pretty nasty stuff, so be careful practicing. I just come here. So I, I got to lower my body weight, and this is going to come here. And you can practice that. You can feel on a heavy bag. It's really effective. If I just touch on Steven's shoulder here, like this. So I, I hit him before my elbow extends. So to hit him that hard here is likely a finishing technique, right? Just in case it isn't, because everything can fail. This comes here, and right away, this I want his head in my arm, armpit for my guillotine choke. This is going to come around here. I'm going to use this monkey grip here, and the elbow comes nice and high. Like this, elbow comes high, get tall. So in the kata, we've got one, that's the strike to the back of the neck, and the pulling down, shift forward, that's the bicep bump to the back of the head. Then this comes under here, and we stand tall in this really straight, uh, straight leg stance, indicating we need to get our, our posture high for the choke. One more time slow. So one, two, strike, pull down. Bicep bump, get the choke, stand tall, hips forward. Okay, a couple times fast. Thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below.